Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. We think of thieves on a spectrum from the kid who steals a candy bar from 7-Eleven to the group of guys in tuxedos knocking over a casino in an elaborate heist involving grappling hooks. But there is a level of thief even above them, guys who think a little bit bigger than everybody else. Too big, it turns out. That is why they have stolen something listed in this video. Three of a kind, let's do this. That's it. Number 7. 56 ton kilogram bridge. In Russia's Murmansk region, a bizarre incident has put the local residents into a tizzy. One of the most well known bridges in the area is located on the Umba River in the Arctic region. The structure, which is nowhere to be found, weighed around 56 tons, 56,000 kilograms, and the reports of its mysterious disappearance began to circulate on VK, a Russian social media platform, in the month of May. Initial photos that came out on the 16th of May showed parts of the broken bridge lying in the water. However, just 10 days later, further pictures went viral on social media, and these had no trace of the broken parts of the bridge. If the locals are to be believed, no natural phenomenon is responsible for the structure's collapse. The residents are speculating that the bridge was brought down and then stolen by metal thieves. Its disappearance has been reported to Kirovsk police, and a criminal investigation is already underway. The police stated that the thieves may have intended to sell the metal scrap, but the process in which they carried out the theft is yet to be uncovered. According to the Daily Mail, the police have not yet been able to identify the thieves responsible for such a disappearance, or even the methodology behind it. Nevertheless, they aren't ruling out the possibility entirely. Number 6. The Empire State Building Yes, you read that right. The Empire State Building was stolen, and it only took 90 minutes. In what has been described as one of the biggest heists in American history, the Empire State Building was reportedly stolen via New York Daily News in less than 90 minutes. Though you may be disappointed to learn that the actual theft did not involve a massive underground drill or a supersized Superman villain helicopter. No, instead, the building was stolen by the New York Daily News. Through an elaborate, see, not that difficult, process of forgery, the news agency managed to create documents for a bill of sale and other undisclosed legal documents, convincing enough to make the New York City Office of the City Registrar transfer the title of the building to Nellitz Properties LLC. You noticed it too, huh? That Nellitz is stolen backwards. Oh, you didn't? Don't worry, neither did the Office of the City Registrar. To further enhance the absurdity of the heist, Included on the bogus paperwork were original King Kong star Fay Ray as witness and Willie Sutton, the notorious bank robber, as the notary. In all fairness, the stunt was designed to draw attention to a flaw in the system in which the clerks are not required to verify any information. In the article, they brought attention to actual cases of this kind of entire house theft, where the thieves would take out mortgages on the house and leave the actual owners stuck to pay off the mortgages, while thieves pocket hundreds of thousands of dollars. Unlike the above-mentioned people, the Daily News returned ownership of the building to Empire State Land Associates. We like to think we would have done the same, in exchange for a pile of money exactly the size of the building. Number 5. Beach In July of 2007, officials in Jamaica were presumably walking along the beach when all of a sudden there was no more beach. After hiding their weed, they notified local police that an entire effing beach had been stolen. Yes, you heard that right. Approximately a half mile of beach was taken, and no one knows where it went or who took it. Natural causes were ruled out, and island officials believe approximately 500 dump trucks were loaded up with the sand and taken elsewhere on the island. Again, they don't know where it went, or who took it, or why. Though you'd think that the dude suddenly selling timeshares for houses with the slogan, now with beach, would be the key suspect. This has embarrassed the police and triggered a political row. Number 4. Entire Bridge Goes Missing It's one of the strangest and most unwieldy thefts we've ever come across. 
two brothers, Benjamin Arthur Jones, 24, and Alexander Williams Jones, were accused of breaking up the 50-foot steel bridge in western Pennsylvania with a blowtorch in September 2011. The crime shook the small town when the rarely used bridge disappeared. Stealing a bridge, as you'd imagine, is a pretty complicated crime. It wasn't some 90s-era magic trick, people. The two brothers worked at it for over a month to steal it. They presumably used corrugated steel and then somehow moved the pieces, steel beams and such, to sell for scrap metal. That couldn't have been easy, as each foot was estimated to weigh hundreds of pounds. But why, oh why, would you even bother stealing a bridge? Because the scrap metal is estimated to be $100,000. Oh. During the investigation, it was found that the brothers sold the 15 and a half tons of scrap metal for $5,000 US dollars to a recycling company. The older brother told a recycling company he had permission to dismantle and sell the privately owned bridge, but the company became suspicious and alerted the cops, authorities said. Number 3. Church Got Stolen In what is perhaps the biggest simultaneous slap to the face of both God and the legal system, an entire church was stolen. You want to know which, in which country was this happened? Oh right, Russia again. The 200-year-old church stood near the village of Komarovo since 1809. It was intact in July 2008, but for some time in early October, thieves made off with it brick by brick, the villagers said. The church was in an isolated area, only occasionally visited by clergymen, so the disappearance was not immediately noticed. Criminals target religious icons stored in the churches because they can fetch a good price, and church buildings are dismantled to provide building materials. And this is not an isolated case. In many villages in central Russia, sites of historical interest are being dismantled, and people suffer by being deprived of their cultural heritage. In another incident, which happened in October 2018, thieves have stolen an entire lead roof from a Grade 1 listed church in Houghton Quest, Bedfordshire, Russia. The theft was found when daylight could be seen through the ceiling and rubble was found on the ground. Number 2. Bridge Vanished Overnight Are you in the market for a 22-ton bridge? Is there an 82-foot gap that you're aching to span? If so, and assuming you like to play fast and loose with the law, you might want to get over to the Kokeli province of Turkey, where earlier this month, audacious thieves stole an entire bridge overnight. It's thought the miscreants intended to sell it for scrap metal. Now villagers wanting to reach their orchards have to paddle across barefooted. It's not the first time thieves have displayed such ambition. Earlier this year, a bridge in India was stolen over the course of three days. The 40 thieves involved told a guard they had been contracted by the Public Works Department and blithely set up their cranes. Last year, in the Czech Republic, a 10-ton railway bridge was stolen by a gang who pretended to be making way for a nifty new cycle route. But the use of forged paperwork is somehow less impressive than making an enormous entity disappear in a blink. Full marks for this must go to thieves who flummoxed Jamaican police in 2008 by stealing an entire beach, making off with 500 truckloads of sand and vanishing without a trace. Number 1. 3,000 Pound Bell How often do you go to church, or in this case a Buddhist temple, and upon hearing the bell think, I want one? Well, some other guys apparently did, and they decided to make their dream come true. You can imagine the surprise of the Buddhist monks at a temple in Tacoma, Washington, when they noticed their enormous bell was missing, especially considering the thing weighed 3,000 pounds. Experts theorize that unless the thieves had some kind of superpowers, they would have had to have bought a forklift and a truck to load the thing onto. With all the quiet time at those temples, you'd assume someone would have heard something. It is a freaking bell after all, but nobody heard or saw a thing. The monks said the bell, cast in Vietnam, was so valuable that they couldn't calculate its worth, which must have pissed them off even more, realizing that the thieves who stole it were probably going to sell it for scrap. That, of course, raises the question of just what the thieves thought they would do with the thing after they had it, as even the shadiest pawn shops and scrap metal yards would probably give you more than a raised eyebrow as you drag this bastard through the door. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, 
write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.